out of the final term. Scores a level. Harding and Madden. One down by Madden, taken by Johnston. Burke, taken around the leg, he'll get the free. He's been busy today. Burke into the forward line with a kick. Intended for low, wide of the mark. Opportunity behind for Dwyer. Coglin, about 35 metres out, hoisted high. Silvani in best position. Almost the great mark. Jarred out of his hands as he hit the ground. Reese Jones, a magnificent third term, in there over the ball. The Saints pleading for holding the ball, not forthcoming. We'll have a bounce in the goal square. St Kilda, if anything, with a slight breeze in this last quarter. Scores level, and this ball up right on the edge of the goal square. Clean possession low, but can't get boot to ball. Naley out of defence for the Blues, but he's kicked into the crowd. Out of bounds. Now it's in the hands of... Daniels for St Kilda, not a great kick, he passes in that's slow motion, the umpire's going to make him do it again setting Madden on the mark St Kilda's poor kicking has let them down, they should have led Tony Lockett has six goals, six Daniels puts it up towards the goal square, Lockett close! <laughs> He's just unstoppable, Tony Lockett. Playing so, on one of the best fullbacks in the game. Silvani has been his opponent all day. Lockett kicked three in the first quarter, one in the second, two in the third. This now for number seven. Great stuff, Tony Lockett. Brilliant exhibition apart from his kicking. With seven goals is a good day's work, and he's probably not finished yet. Seven out of ten. To Tony Lockett. And the Saints lead by six points. They led by eight points at quarter time, seven at half time. The Blues came back in the third term to level the scores after the Saints got out to lead by 16 points midway through that term. Back in the middle, one down by Harding. Winmar wide of the congestion. Coglin slaps it away. It's taken by Glasgow. Towards half forward goes the kick. Bounces once and goes out of bounds. Some of the marking today has been quite superb. Lockett, seven goals. And that duel has been so entertaining. The honours certainly with Lockett. Coglin didn't have the ball surely. And he's going to get the free kick. He's worked hard today too, Frank Coughlin. Away he goes, loves to run. Second bounce, up to the middle. Penetrating kick, Dorotich is on report. Reese Jones gets it to Hunter. Dwyer, off cover, goal number eight. Locker hits the post, running into an open goal. Dear, oh dear. Why kick it on the left foot, Dennis? He had plenty of time to steady and bang it with that right foot. He's relaxed too much, Tony Lockett. Well, that's seven goals, seven, and one out of bounds. Hunter marks the short kick here. St Kilda now with a seven-point break. Slight breeze behind, but the game's certainly not over yet. Dorotic. Oh, has to be a throw. The umpire says it was a throw by Lowe, and the free kick to Dorotic. Reported in the third quarter for an incident with Stuart Lowe. Who came up very sore and sorry for himself. Dorotich to half forward. Courage shown by Sheldon to back into them. Here's little Danny Craven. The rover from Wangaratta. Winmar spoiled by Glasgow. It comes back to Nicky Winmar. He puts it through to Coglin. Great place in Kilda. Rice. Long kick. Lock it in the goal square. Lockett decided not to lead. Silvani was expecting to lead and uh, was led under the ball. Lockett just sat back there and took the easy chest mark. Lockett comes in for number eight. And quite a break for St Kilda if he can get it. And a great 
great start to this last quarter by St Kilda. Two goals to lock it. It should have been three. But a great performance by Tony Lockett on that forward line. Nine goals last week. And carrying on the good work this week. His no. statistics were going through. 12 marks, 16 kicks, two hand passes, and eight goals, seven. The ground's a buzz. The Saints a chance to make it two in a row to start the season. Had slipped away to lead by 13 points now. Back in the middle. Harding and Madden won by the ladder. Knocked on by Burke, kicked on there by Lowe towards half forward. Awkward bounce for Bowie down there. Kennedy scrambles it back towards midfield. Madden couldn't hang on, falls at his feet. They battle after it. Murphy towards half forward. Good mark. Taken by Sheldon. He's played well in defence. Sweeping hand pass. This is Grant. Not a good kick. It wobbles through centre. Ricochets off Glasgow. Opportunity now for the little man out there. That's Craven. He was tackled. Held to him, says the umpire. And will have a ball up alongside the centre circle. Johnston not happy. Craven has tried very hard. One of two very diminutive rovers for the Saints. He's been the pick of the two today. Can the Blues come back again? They've shown great courage a few times today. Madden got it down to Naley, but he's been penalised. Taken by Harding. Elphinstone, the defender, has drifted up to the half-forward line. One and a half kicks to goal from there. Short pass for Lowe. He gets underneath it. Dorotich spoils. It comes to the back. A chance here for St Kilda. Snapped by Bowie. He's offline. And as they've done at the start of every quarter, St Kilda peppering away at the start of the quarter and once again not getting full value. They lead by 14 points. So in this quarter they've kicked 2-2. Silvani growing old this afternoon quickly. Hannah got his hands there. Couldn't take the mark. Naley was held without it. Naley from right half back. Very high kick towards half forward. Crawley in front, almost the mark. Battles on with Kernahan. And the umpire, no option. Kernahan started very well. Crawley's come back strongly. Hurt his arm there, Crawley, as he trots after Kernahan. Here's the bounce. Down towards centre wing. Burke over the ball. Had a very good game, Burke. Was taken high. Coglin in deep trouble. A chance now for the Saints. This is Fode. Collision course there with Reese Jones. It ricochets to McKinnon. Back towards midfield. Carlton have got the numbers. Grant with dash but left it behind. Satori gets it across to Brown. Brown deep into attack. Where's Madden? Over the top. Couldn't hang on. Sheldon gets back. Sensing the danger. Runners to the outer side. He needs to run it up. And then kick to Daniels. He opts instead to go short and pays the penalty. Gleason's taken the mark. Centering kick, Kernahan. Stephen Kernahan today, two goals, two. Five marks, ten possessions. An important kick, this. If he can make the distance and kick straight, the Blues certainly right in it. The breeze more across the ground than favouring St Kilda. Kernahan aiming to the left goalpost, brings it back. Drama continues. Sheldon. Straight down the middle. Not a good kick. McKinnon. A little slow. Sends it back. Deep into attack. St Kilda three up. This is Winmar. They were lucky to get out of that for Saints. Hannah. Confronted by Coglin. Well played by Hannah. Got it down to Glasgow. He breaks away. Back into the forward line again. The Blues aren't done with. Madden was up, couldn't take the mark. Johnston fumbled. Cunningham swings it out to Winmar, and the throw is called. Unfortunately there, because Cunningham had a, a fair bit of time to get rid of that one. So Johnston, in the right pocket, as far as the left foot is concerned, 
chance to pull the Blues even closer. He starts on the 50-meter line. Study and concentration. Wayne Johnston. It's close across the face. Through for a minor score. So the margin now is 12 points. Wayne Johnston again hasn't dominated today. Ten kicks, four hand passes. Left the ground at one stage during the second quarter and doesn't look totally fit at the start of this season. Carlton may be in heaps more bother if they lose here today to St Kilda. They're on the bottom of the ladder, the Blues. Grant dashes through, loses it. Shuffled out by Fode, intercepted there by Bradley. Back to centre half forward. Curnahan wrestling there with Frawley. Sheldon charging straight at it, kicks mothered courageously. Eventually, Rice a hand pass out. Sheldon off the ground. Center of the ground is Hunter. Crowd calling for holding the ball. Hannah. Sheldon having a purple patch. Loses it this time to Brown. Inside 50 he goes. Left footer, Dorotich. In front, Cunningham. No mark. Dorotich back to front. Fraser Murphy. In front. Goes. With you, Carlton. Good play there. Good fighting play. Got a lot of determination getting that ball back onto the forward line. Fought hard to retain possession. And Jordan Dorotich now playing at full forward was able to feed that one out to Fraser Murphy. And a good snapshot at goal from Fraser Murphy. What a game it's been. They've taken so much pressure today, Carlton, and they've come back every time. The margin is six points now. Harding and Madden. Madden wins it. Winmar too high. They get the free kick. As always, lively. Nicky Winmar unloads with a long kick. They can test about 40 metres out. Low slapping away. Wide of the pack, Craven. And now it's Bowie to Dwyer. Can he find target this time? Too long. Dragged off it by Reese Jones. What a timely tackle. Craven goes in backwards. Gleason gets it to Reese Jones. Silvani, great composure. Hannah, right half back, he runs it out. Long kick towards centre wing. Turner is up in front, just on the ground. Frawley, Grant, brilliant smother. Johnston's away. Follows up his own good work. Great shepherd from Kernahan. And the kick is marked down there by Naley, just inside the field of play. Well, inspirational stuff there by Wayne Johnston. He's done it too often for anyone to doubt his courage, his ability to Draw. time things. And as you can see, Kernahan and Foley having a bit to do. And that resulted from the shepherd from Kernahan, and now players coming from everywhere. Yes, that was magnificent play there by Wayne Johnston. Had a very quiet afternoon so far, but they're the sort of team lifting effort you expect from Wayne Johnson. Umpire in there again having to speak to John Dorotich. And all the while Mark Naley has the ball on the boundary line in the forward pocket. Difficult shot for goal but if somehow he can thread this through again the scores will be level. What a game it's been. The crowd perhaps not as big as it might have been it's built up so much. It is certainly a very big crowd. But whoever came today, be glad they came. What can Mark Naley do with this? Once kicked four goals in one quarter for South Australia against the Vicks. Banana kick. Threads it! No, just missed. One goal, two to Mark Naley. Five points the difference. Sheldon kicks in, favours the outer side. Hunter, Harvey the opportunity, slaps it wide. Bowie going nowhere. Great commitment from Grants and Murphy, and we've got a ball up. 83 to 78. Satori will do the ruck work, opposed to Harding. Two ex-West Australians, Satori wins it down. Fraser Murphy out of the congestion towards half-forward. Johnston the leaper, 
It falls to Gleason. Gleason 35 meters out, follows it up. Turner comes out and meets him. Radley close to the boundary line has hustled out of bounds. Well, Carlton have had most of the attack in the last four or five minutes and trail by just five points. Madden in ruck against Hardy and Kernahan up very high. Comes to Naley. His left footer back to the goal square. Cunningham! He's played most of the day on Satori, giving away a lot of height. Off to Sheldon. All Carlton here, Satori. Oh, he was off. Play on set the umpire. The tackle was Daniels holding the ball against Satori. Daniels, one of the five teenagers in St Kilda's lineup today. Up short of half forward. Almost a mark to low. Hunter, what a pressure game this has been. Spectacular as well. Nathan Burke picks up, spears it to half forward. Dwyer at the back. Oh, Ken Hunter, well done. Superb. Boundary throw in. 50 metres out from the Saints attacking goal. Midway through the term. Blow to Winmar. Drag off the kick. It's still good, I think. Just missed. Oh, big roar from the crowd. In the grass, Mickey Winmar got it going, Goldwood. You'll see Lockett in his dreams tonight. Silvani, high kick in front of Tory. Coughlin looking for a free, penalised for holding the ball. That's a decision. Here's Hannah towards half forward. Kernahan, great mark. Bradley inside, should have gone to Bradley. Kernahan to take this kick, but Bradley was storming inside him. But now 50 metres, that is the sixth or seventh that's gone against St Kilda today. Seven of them, and that's a lot of territory. We had too many, Dennis. He may have been fortunate that the 50 metre wasn't played when he dragged Kernahan to the ground in the first instance. Steve Kernahan now inside scoring range. If he kicks it, the scores will be level. Carlton will not be denied. It's a good looking kick. Kernahan, goal to Carlton. Well, those 50 metre penalties went some good look back, and they said that they've given away 50 metre, seven of those 50 metre penalties. Well, I think they'll be very upset with what has happened and the number of occasions have missed chances to kick goals also. If they do lose this game, they could say, well, they can only blame themselves. Scores back level. Now it's favours Carlton. Bradley thumps over the top. Burke is there. Caught in Naley's tackle. Madden. They put it down, but nobody had hold of it. That player's going to ball it up. Well, Carlton really fighting for their reputation here this afternoon. Looking for their first win of the season to bounce back from last week. Comes to Brown. Rice juggles a mark. Haven't been in attack for a while, St Kilda. Good long kick by Rice. Satori climbs, punches down, goes to Hannah. And he dashes away from the Millam Hannah. Great play to Glasgow. Wide it comes to McKinnon. Quickly to Doritich. He took a while but gets it up to Madden. To the front, Johnston to Madden. He went backwards, Dustin Madden. McKinnon 40 metres out, right in front. Gleason. Wide of the mark. Grant first there, but it might beat him out of play. And I thought Carlton were going to do better than that. Throw in about 20 metres around from the behind post. Good lucky St Kilda there. Madden coming back towards the middle. Slowed their progress. He wins it down to Naley, trying to make amends. Back towards full forward. Madden was up again. The force to Craven. Now an opportunity for the Saints. 
Counter-attack. Rice with the run of the ball. McKinnon's after it. Rice on centre wing towards half forward. Carlton have got the numbers through the hands of Hunter. Harvey slung. Reese Jones rides above. Great desperation in there by Bowie. Spills out. Eventually is worked towards the boundary by Bradley. Well done by McKinnon. Got rid of Rice. This is Kennedy. Kernahan. It went the distance. Mailey. Down towards half forward. Carlton working hard. Too much carry on the kick. Over the head of Dorotic. It bounces out of bounds in the pocket. Wrong option also. Should have centred the ball instead of going into that pocket. Scores level. 30 metres from goal. Madden palms down. Chance here for Craven. He's done well in his second game of VFL football. But on the chest of McKinnon, he's also playing his second. Up towards full forward. Madden with all the height. Dorotich in front. Off hands to Madden. A snap through the packet goes. Grant's back there. Sheldon as well. Hurried kick out of defence. Daniels, clever. Goes for the boundary line with a clever kick. He was a schoolboy footballer last year, and that's well done. Kept his head remarkably well. Jason Daniels. Boundary throw in on the outer side. Harding has tried hard for the Saints. Satori over the top, though. Naley coming into things in this term. Coglin going back with a flight of the ball. Daniels dragged off it. Murphy to Gleason. Gleason long kicked out towards full forward. Dorotich, great courage. Dropped away from Madden. This is Fode with the run of it. The Saints have got a spare man on this side of the ground. Fode uses him too. And he fell over to Rice. Fode comes back. Well played. Fode from centre wing. Satori. Carlton. Getting the numbers back across half back. Rhys Jones to Gleason to McKinnon. End to end football. McKinnon back towards centre half forward. Harding couldn't control it. Opportunity for Grant. The Saints have got the numbers. Johnston tries to knock it out. Coglin gets it across to Daniels. Glascott can pump it back in. Glascott. Long kick. Madden the target. Up he goes. Couldn't hang on. Falls at his feet. Big scramble. Turner wrestling with Dorotich. Dorotich comes out holding his head. And the umpire will bounce it. Yeah, how tired must some of these players be? Danny Frawley. And for the first time today, Jamie Lamb comes onto the ground for St Kilda to replace Dean Rice. Darrell Bulldog hasn't used his interchanges until the fourth quarter. Murphy, straight through. Oh, he had it for a fair while. Gleason. No distance with that kick. Still a chance for the Blues. 30 metres out. Naley over his shoulder. Puts the Blues in front with that one. They're doing all the attacking. Lockett hasn't seen the ball for about the last 20 minutes. There's the kick in. Low. This is Fode. The Saints have led just about all day. Carlton lead now. The business end. Towards Lockett. interesting by the umpire he was calling play on for a long time so the tackle on Lockett after he claimed the mark was deemed illegal Lockett 30 metres out he's kicking at his ninth nine last week they need nine at least this afternoon it's good the Saints are back in the run they needed badly from Kilda and it's put them five points in the lead again and a great display again from Tony Lockett he's been starved of opportunities in this last quarter although he's kicked three goals the ball's been on Carlton's forward line for most of this part, last part of the quarter and now let's see what Carlton can do whether they can get back in front Nine goals, seven, Tony Lockett. Wayne Johnston has left the ground again for Carlton. Replaced by Strosh. Harding gets a hand pass away to Daniels. 
Goes long to full forward. Lock it there again. It clears him. The whistle's gone. It's a Carlton free kick to Silvani. Got to come back to Stephen Silvani. Lockett has had 17 kicks. And Silvani coming up for kick number 12. It's been a great contest between the two champions. But you'd have to say Lockett has won the points. Gleeson puts it wide for Bradley. Playing in a district cricket final two weeks ago, Craig Bradley. Off the left boot. Chance, Carlton. And Madden's got it on his chest right in front. Madden kicked two goals in the second quarter. And a straight kick here, right in front and about 43 metres from goal, will put the Blues back in front. What a game of football. Five minutes left on the clock. And a vital kick for Justin Madden. He's kicked it. Oh, it just got away at the end. He looked good off the boot too from Justin Madden, very confident kick, but that wind must have dragged it just across at that last moment. Sheldon against his old team. Must be a free kick in front for Winmar. And listen to that crowd. Mickey Winmar at the left half back with the free. Inside the last five minutes now. Four points. That was the margin last season on this ground. Carlton won that one. Winmar tumbles a kick. Wire couldn't mark it. This is Rhys Jones. Glasgow sold into trouble. Play on the call. Gleeson back to Rhys Jones on centre wing. The Saints have got the numbers. Rhys Jones should have kicked. This is Coglin. Cunningham keeps it in play. Cunningham shocking kick. Exposes the Saints now. Bradley takes the mark midfield. A tired kick from Cunningham, no question. Bradley down towards the 50 meter line. Crawley couldn't mark it. Craven fumble. Murphy 30 meters out. Kicks a goal. The Blues lead. Oh, well, Jeff Cunningham's got his head down. There's no wonder there. He did the good hard work on the boundary line. And then inexplicably went across the ground. And he should have just forced it down to the forward line any way he could. Cunningham's been moved up onto the wing, and I'd suggest he's pretty tired for that role in this last quarter. Lamb's gone to the back pocket. Fraser Murphy has kicked two goals in this last quarter. Carlton have only managed three. The Blues in front. Comes to win now. Aimed for a big long kick. Didn't quite get hold of it. Kennedy in front. Scrag will take the free kick. Carlton by two points, and we've got under three and a half minutes left. Bradley in front, takes a good mark. Carlton haven't had the lead hardly all day, but they might lead it where it really counts at the end of the match. Gleeson finds Kernahan in between the wing and half forward. Stephen Kernahan goes for distance. Doritich is down there, and marks! No, umpire said play on. Oh, they didn't oh. hear... Well, they just waited for the decision. Naley had it. Comes to Sheldon. Short of the wing. Kernahan, a big climb. And the skipper coming good when he's required. 2.40 with the clock running down. Remaining in this game. Kernahan Started brilliantly. Goes for distance. Towards the pocket. Madden to the interfere. Play on is the call. This is Fode. They bring it away again. Harding gave him the hand pass. Midfield to Tory. Clever hand pass. Glasgow's away. Forward of centre. A high kick. Turner battling with Madden. Wide of the pack. An opportunity for Lamb. They've got the numbers St Kilda. Three on one. Dorotich is working manfully. But Coglin comes away. Gives it to Sheldon. Sheldon's kick comes towards centre wing, but the mark is taken by Reese Jones. Goes in short. Gleeson. Inside two minutes now. Adrian Gleeson on centre wing. What a test of the nerves this is. Scores were level at three-quarter time. If anything, Carlton kicking into a slight breeze in the last term. They lead now by two points. Glasgow using up time. 
Up to half forward. Kernahan the only chance for Carlton. Lamb sees the ball go out. St Kilda need the ball in play as the clock ticks down to 1 minute 18. Boundary throw in. Lamb to Sheldon. Off the side of the boot, Ken Sheldon. Might be all right for Daniels. He charges onto it, gives a great hand pass to Winmar. St Kilda a chance, Winmar looks for Lockett. Tony Lockett can win the game and bring up his 10th goal. That would be marked that. Well, I thought Winmar had done the wrong thing. I thought he should have kept going and had a ping at the goals. 43 seconds left on the clock. Possibly the last chance for St Kilda. They trail by two points. Tony Lockett. They're showing a lot of, lot of courage, a lot of character today. And that'll probably do it for them too. With only 22 seconds left on the clock, Lockett kicks his 10th goal in a magnificent solo performance at full forward against Stephen Silvani. What a finish. Back in the middle. The Saints lead. Can the Blues muster one final thrust? Gleeson goes to ground, pushing the back the call. We're down to 10 seconds. Gleeson, it needs a mark. The Saints have got men all around the ball. It falls forward. Naley can't control it. Three seconds. Ball up. She's all over. The Saints are going to win it. Some quarter of one. They've won by four points. Jubilation at Moorabbin. What a game of football. I don't think through you could see better.